Good morning. It was a misty morning on the island of Sodor. It's actually clearing at the moment. Anyway, welcome to this week's video. Um, I thought what we'd do today, after our really, really good success uh, on the boat uh, with Tim from Treble Hooked Fishing last week, I spent a fortune on lures, don't you tell the messes, and uh, I've just loaded up uh, the nearest big fun, and we're gonna just shoot down the river and see whether we can keep that luck. Loaded up the pack raft, so we've got a bag full of lures. We've got the uh, predator by rigged and ready, and it is absolute crystal clear and mill pond. So we're just going to head down the river and see whether our luck's uh, still in. It's an absolute beautiful day out here today. So it started off really, really sunny this morning, and then it came over really, really misty, and now, uh, now the mist is clearing. But it's still quite warm, so we're at, what are we now? Middle September, and there's not so much traffic on the river, which is absolutely fantastic. And it is absolute crystal clear, and absolute mill pond. So we're just going to paddle down a little bit further and uh, we'll have a go at some of these lures. Um, I learnt tons from uh, fishing with Tim the other day and uh, I think one of the main things that I learnt was I looked at some of those lures and thinking, geez, you know, they're massive, they're like blooming tuna lures and was not really expecting to catch on those. But then as soon as I started using them, it was bang, bang, bang. So, um, yeah, definitely learned on, on those lures. They were the Strike Pogue Guppies. And uh, I had a go at purchasing them. But uh, they're like rocking or shit, they are. So anchor-wise, all I'm using on the pack raft, I've got a two kilo uh, diving lead. And then I've got a full length of paracord. And I'm guesstimating it's going to be about eight foot here so I've got ten foot of paracord set up with just a plastic carabiner here so we're just gonna drop that in the water and uh, and then that just clips onto one of the plastic uh, D-rings on the pack raft. That's less than eight foot there. Right, what shall we use first? So, we've got a selection of lures that we got hold of. So, I ordered the wrong one, so I've had to spend twice the amount. So these are basically the smaller version of the ones that we were using the other day. But I've also picked up these, oh hello, we're in a bit of a Mrs. Mangle here. But I also picked up one of these Rapalas, so I think that's gonna be my first port of call is uh, this Rapala. Well, absolutely nothing on that. I thought that would do quite well because it's very similar to those other lures we were using, but but no. So we'll have a bit of a swap over. Right, let's go on the other bank.
Hey, fish on, fish on, fish on. Ooh, I got my drag set on this one. Here we go. We got one at least. And he's not a bad size. <laughs> Lovely old job. Let's get him in the net. Well, at least we didn't blank. He's away. Well, at least we got one, that's the main thing. I'm absolutely soaked now though. Right, so we're just in front of some overhanging willows and some reeds here. But at least we've got one fish. I reckon he was slightly bigger than four. How much do you reckon he weighed? Stick it in the comments. I'm not very good at guesstimating how much fish weigh. This one is about as big as the lure. He was definitely hungry. So that pretty much resembles the size of the lure that we were catching on the other day. Right, well we're at the old lunch stop. It is a bit windy here. Yeah? I'm definitely going to get out because I'm desperate for a gypsy's kiss. So we're going to have a fruit soup for lunch today. Sounds a bit random, doesn't it? But this was inside of me um, day ration pack by Real Field Mill uh, that I used when I was done the pack rafting under the Waveney. Uh, I didn't obviously use this, so uh, we'll give this a go. And looking at it, it's uh, there's 363 kilocals of energy inside of this, so uh, it's packed full of energy. So but, uh, I don't know. Let's give it a go and see what it's like. What do we need? Two decaliters of water. Oh, let's give it a go. And there is bits of fruit floating around inside of it. Well, I'm glad I come out today, really. So we've had two pike. One was uh, pretty much as big as the lure we were using the other day. And uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed myself this morning. It just shows you just how you can adapt, you know, just a small little fishing trip with one of these uh, these pack rafts here. You know, this one's been set up specifically for fishing and, uh, and and it works really, really well for it, really. The only thing I need to just develop is just a bit more of a heavy mud weight, really. But um, yeah, it's been a cracking day out here and it's, it's so nice just to live this close to the river and, and use it as much as you can. I'm really glad I come out today. I'm back on work uh, for the weekend this week. So, uh, so yeah, nice to have a little bit of a relax. Right, let's wait for this fruit soup to uh, rehydrate and uh, let's see what it's like. Right, let's see what this is like. We've got bits of, I'm guessing it's mango and apple inside of it. It looks like carrot, it looks like a really, <laughs> really weak um, chicken stock. But let's see what it's like. Oh, I'll tell you what, if it was a really cold winter's day, and you wanted to stop for something that was just full of energy, warm and tasty, this would be what you want. Oh. Right, so that pretty much sums it up for today, guys. Thanks for joining us today on the short little pack raft. 
fishing trip along the River Waveney here. It's been a really good day out, really enjoyed myself. It's been great to fish with the rigged and ready Predator there. Please remember there is a discount code, I'll stick that up just now for you as well if you fancy a 10% off any of the rigged and ready products. And uh, let us know how big you think that fish is because I reckon it's about four or five pound, but uh, that's a guesstimate that is. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please hit the subscribe button just below there. And as always, a couple of videos for you to take a look at. And we'll see you next week on the next one.